I'm now joined by the South African Revenue Service spokesperson, P.T. Sebeko, as the operation against a coal syndicate is currently underway. Previously, I had spoken to my colleague, ENCA reporter, Shonim Timkulu, who is out in Mpumalanga, where we understand the Hawks, Saps and Sars are all in a joint operation to crack down on coal thefts. Peter, thank you so much for your time and a very warm uh, good morning to you. Let's talk about the role that SARS would be playing here in this joint operation. What does it look like? Uh, uh, good, uh, good morning to you and uh, to your viewers. Um, so, uh, the, as per the statement that we have issued, um, the, uh, there's been an operation uh, that um, has been carried out in a number of provinces. Um, and, um, and that, of course, has been uh, uh, undertaken jointly. Um, and uh, as per the statement that we issued, um, there are tax uh, matters that are at issue, and um, those are the tax matters that um, uh, constitute the bedrock of an engagement. Now, as you would know, that um, according to tax laws in our country, uh, given the confidentiality and the secrecy that that involves, we would not go into into the heart or into exactly what those are. Safe to say that we have mentioned them in the in the media statement, but we would not obviously get into the details around those. Uh, but of course, uh, the, as per the media statement, there have been con uh, a tax uh, laws contravention and. Uh, a pursuant to that, uh, we have acted the way we have today. Yeah. When we talk about some of those tax crimes, are you able to clarify what, you know, are the crimes and, and what are the implications of committing such tax crimes? Well, um, I mean, they range uh, from uh, uh, non-declaration um, of the um, the income. They are on VAT. They are on um, a, a myriad of products that have to do with tax, uh, pay as you earn, and all sorts of other um, other other um, uh, other uh, misdemeanor. Uh, which are the contravention of, of um, the tax laws. Mm. Safe to say, as I said in our, in our media statement, we did um, uh, allude to those and uh, we would um, just not move beyond that and we say, and then let the matter, of course, uh, the matter will then be taken forward from here on. All right. Well, let's still talk about at least the uh, profile of the coal syndicates. These are also dubbed as the coal mafias, PT. Are you able to share with us what their modus operandi uh, is, what it was, what it looked like in terms of how they conducted the diversion of coal, the smuggling of coal, the stealing of coal? Um, are you able to at least share with us uh, what those criminal elements and activities look like upon your joint investigation? Well, as I say, uh, 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 that uh, uh, we we have detailed that, um, and um, as there are a series of activities to follow, we would um, uh, rather not comment. Safe to say that the Amida statement alludes, as I think has now been um, uh, been made public a number of times uh, about people diverting um, coal, uh, going to coal. Um, 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 my, uh, where coal is mined and people get uh, uh, quality coal and they get diverted and um, and then um, uh, they offload the, the, the original good coal and take uh, substandard and coal with mi mixed with all sorts of material and send those uh, through to the power stations. So we would just want to say generically this is what is at issue and as we have uh, um, uh, included that in, our media, in, in the media statement. So we will just stop at, here, at this because, as I say, some of the, the, the activities are ongoing and we wouldn't want to get into too much detail lest um, 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 we compromise uh, what the work that still needs to be done. Well, I appreciate you speaking to us this morning. SAR spokesperson, Peter Sbego, thank you so much for your time.